it's got plenty of rattle. Now I'm going to get it to grow probably a C. It's about a C. What we'll do now is you can see. So I've cut it down quite a bit. Now to continue with the American scrape of the reed, um, I'll uh, take some more out of the back and that will lower the pitch more also. So let's just do that. I'm going to have to remove a lot, just mostly the bark and the shell. And depending on the cane, this should work out well. This is a graph gouge that I've resurrected, or the former colleague say, would say exhumed, exhumed. I had a colleague <coughs> when we were in orchestra, a very funny guy. He would say, uh, <clears throat> is this, uh, what was that phrase he used? A resurrection <laughs> or an exhumation? <laughs> we play some old piece. And yeah, that was good. That was fun. So yeah, I will, uh, this is an exhumation probably. Let me, so that lowered it, I'm sure. Now let me clip it. A little bit. I may not finish this read, but I just want to impress upon you that the importance of that, uh, starting the read like that. Because I haven't really talked about it, and it, and it is critical. Now let me just... Just to finish it roughly, so you understand what I mean, is I will just work on the sides here a little bit, and we will probably have a finished product relatively close. When you scrape on the sides like this after you've scraped the middle so that it vibrates well, it does lighten the reed and it does remove some of the um, harshness of the reed some of those overtones that we don't we want to get rid of the very ringy hard sounding overtones yeah, it has a lot to do with our acoustics of course you know probably 200 years ago we'd like to keep it that way but in modern halls most of them have plenty of ring and uh, Hence the modern oboe, which is a combination of ring and tone, and uh, something that we debate over quite a bit. And it's it's almost as if it's one or the other. It's not both. All right, so I think we're. I think we're pretty close here. Let me see. Now uh, that's just, you know, not so delicate, a little rough, but you can see how that's coming along. You know? Now that we've established the center of the tip to vibrate, we don't really need to get into that. We just, we just kind of tone it down, give it some uh, warmth, you know, and uh, proper response and all. Let's see what it sounds like. Well, it's flat. That was lovely. Um, <clears throat> let me clip it. <laughs> it's just... Still flat. You can go a little more. You see, that did flatten it quite a bit, didn't it? Still flat. Oh, it has to do with the gouge. It just doesn't want to get up there. One tiny one, I think it'll do it. Whoop, the tip is getting kind of heavy. There it is. But, of course, and this is part of the game. We uh, clip and then we have to scrape just a little bit.
Now, in case you're wondering, this is a box Matthew Passion. I probably should be listening to Christmas music, but this is one of my favorites. Just beautiful. Um, let's see. Oh, it's pretty. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Beautiful music. I mean, that's the heyday of the oboe, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. So, <clears throat> that read I think would work very nicely. I think most anyone could play this read and would enjoy it. Um, it's not finished for me, but, you know, it took very little time to put this thing together. And you can see how I stuck with the center of the tip. It just got the read to vibrate quickly. Um, so, I hope that helps you a little bit. And, um, by the way, have a wonderful holiday. <laughs>